Hello, and welcome to Nix's Eye. We're doing more Testios Gaming. 3K, 4v4, Team Linnaeus, Team 2 OSP. We got Corbo, Skellord, Lena, who is Indigo, Dramis, and Wesley Snipes. Team 2, Internet Explorer, Flard, Vryn, Sir Boom Lover, and Sumike. We're on the new one-day-old testing branch. I've mentioned this already, but I am... Quite excited, everybody is. We've got a small armada here in the Discord, hanging out, watching, spying, bearing witness to uh, what have been some actually pretty normal ass games. There's not not a whole lot special has been going on. Uh, I think part of that's due to the mixed skill level. No one's been like super optimizing ridiculous absurd builds. They've had pretty standard stuff and that's a that's a good sign in my opinion even though people are making use of the new and improved tools like the doom for example internet explorer's classic revolver bulk freighter is now a 450 bulk freighter that's what we're dropping down with all right let's go through these teams internet explorer's the doom 40 bulk freighter 100 mils Decoy containers on the back. Decoy containers do now launch faster. They've only got a two seconds programming time. One, two, three. Tugs. One, two, three. Gun shuttles. Boom lovers. Can't okay, got the same builds last time. One, two, three, four. Semi active missile monitors with about 72 missiles in them. Yeah, that maps out with two lighthouse. Uh, shuttles, these are, I believe, semi-active wake validated. They might just be semi-active wake secondary. Not sure. In any case, very cheap missiles. I don't think they have any terminals, but boy, do they have the, uh, the salvo size. They don't have very many salvos, but four monitors worth of missiles. A lot. Subike's got another 450 bulk freighter with MLS-2s on the backside. Nice. Missile launchers, by the way, have gotten a 100-point health increase. Which is nice. I think that's actually doubling their HP. Big problem with these uh, sidearm weapons has been that they get shot off way too fast. Got two... Not MMTs, but like dedicated S2 tugs. Okay. Three of them. One nearly naked capper. Friends rocking double Ocello. Split double Ocello? Alright, double Ocello's may be acceptable but split these have got to be they don't even have floodlights on them i was thinking these were going to be anti-jam support ships but these are like combat there is a floodlight on ships on both. is there where is it yeah defender defender aurora bullseye uh that is an aurora apparently one of them has a floodlight okay the other one has a floodlight okay so, Never mind that. There's one floodlight and one. These are very clearly intended to be played together. So I don't know why they're set up, split up rather. Uh, I guess well, because the problem when you split up a cellos like this is two cellos together have really strong pre-D. One cello alone does not. So they're going to be doing. Uh, we'll see. Lard has two plasma monitors all in. One jam shuttle, one EWR. What is this? One fighting EWR tug? Okay. One MMT, not exactly. I don't know what you'd call this. It's very similar to an MMT, but it's got an illuminator instead of a jammer. We got some. Man, a lot of S2s. Oh boy, OSP just got lit up real hard. Flard's ship got burned pink. And we're back to Internet Explorer. We need to start. Yeah, I'm not sure why these teams are not going really hard with mass drivers and rails. But because as the people are saying in the text chat, that is kind of the default for this map. The sprinter's gonna get torn shreds. And they got it might not get the Delta Cat. Yeah, there it goes. Alright, let's start going through the NS fleet. Corbo's got his classic backline and anti-scout build. It's a uh, two 
general purpose reins with missiles, bullseyes, spyglasses, and sarissas. They should also have some buffs and some soft kill. Might have some AMMs too. And one, two, three fighting railgun destroyers. They got a railgun, they got 250s, they got a little bit of PD, they got some soft kill. Very dangerous. Dramus has one anchor fighting voxel with 250s, which is currently engaging and covering the delta point. One, two, oh my, jam sprinters, and one, two, torp corvettes for capping, one dead torp corvette for capping, with uh, life pods being ejected directly out of gigantic bullet holes in the in the hole. Um, I don't think that's OSHA approved, but that, okay. And one naked ship, Lena, oh my god, why, why are we doing this? We have another 3,000 point battleship, which is currently eating missiles from the MMTs and is taking damage as well. What does this thing have on it? Defenders, VLS3, Sarissa's, and guns. Ooh, box those, getting melted on day. those were not five tick four head S2s, were they? I don't think no, they got they were through six. the BB armor. They, they did. They did get through the BD, BB armor. Uh, five ticks do not. But six, six, five ticks will. does. Four no. doesn't. Yeah, five does. It's f four warhead sizes, 960 HP at 52 centimeters. Oh, I was getting, then... I was getting four, six, and six, four backwards. Whoops. Yeah. Local man can't annotate properly. Yeah. Five, five, five. five will get through though. I can't it's, read. It's 60. Yeah, <laughs> basically. I think that was just a lucky hit from two missiles in the same spot though, because. That's not a battleship that's been hit by 16 S2 missiles. It didn't get hit by all 16. The enemy is securing zone okay, one. continuing Ask to go through the game. ANS fleets. We've got two 450 experts. Has Scalar taken the time to improve this build? Yeah, he's got a bunch of ammo elevators in here. This is going to be a lot more menacing and a lot more help for his team. Good, Anakin. Good. So got some stone walls. Gave up a little bit of damage control, I believe. Probably gave up a little bit of munitions as well. Much better fleet. Wesley Snipes has triple voxels. Damn, how tight are these things? Normally these sorts of builds have a ton of auxiliary steerings in them. And they've got the cheap defenders. But defenders got a 5 point price increase. Which means this has increased by however much 12 times 5 is. That's 60 um as well as auxiliary steerings having a compounding cost increase although t small dc lockers got 10 points cheaper so maybe it evens out the enemy secured zone and that's all the ans fleets the fight on delta is oh no heating up in favor of the osp that's a big reactor crit it's the only fighting ship down here is this voxel and these two sprinters are now heavily damaged I need a drink of water. One moment, please. Okay. Back to the middle of the map. Snipes is just kind of hanging out by Alpha. Well, he can cover Alpha and he can kind of cover Delta, but I think this he needs to get away from this big force of OSP. Yeah, the voxels are the... Uh, what is this? This is an Ocello already shelling down the field uh looks like the voxels aren't taking any hits oh, i'm looking at the wrong one yeah it's dodging it's dodging real dds firing at long range what are they firing at they're not firing at you they're firing at you no this took they, uh, else. that's missiles they shot at fubuki earlier we're just looking at the damage from that ah okay so it's missiles and rails is what is damage this got it got it got it got it got it looks like the man i don't know about this i feel like these triple voxels could pounce on this and absolutely destroy shit but they also risk getting torn to shreds especially with all the missiles in this small armada over here a and s down on caps but osp doesn't really have anything covering their natural oh yeah i suppose boom lover is NLS 2 group. Now this is a great spot for these to be. They can cover the inside of Bravo. They can cover Echo pretty effectively. They can kind of threaten the backside of Charlie. Great spot. 
generally osp positioning is pretty good they've really surrounded the ans if we look here from the top osp covers controls like three quarters to 80 percent of the map don't mix fractions and decimals by the way that's that's bad form don't do that so uh they're in a really good position especially since ANS is only two caps on nix's eye Ooh, and the guy in charge of the server did not change the points cap to 1500 god damn it why is that not the default i hate this game all right this tug taking a lot of fire from 250 ap it is steadily gonna damage is gonna add up especially with those a very low count of DC teams. Oh yeah, the rails are angling to fight lower. I think the monitors are on radar? No. Where are those rounds going? Let's see that. Where are these going? Ah, okay. The Acello was shooting at the dead sprinter with a 450. Got it. Acello is now shooting at the rail ships. Or the voxels. Man, I am not doing a good job of keeping track where things are on this map. I hope you have been keeping up with the text chat. The people are discussing rails, which has been a very hot topic for this build. For those of you who don't know, Capital Rails, that is the Mark 81. Got its reload rate. Got, well, pretty much everything about it changed. Uh, it now has an auto loader. Uh, benefits from rapid cycle cradles. And you can burst fire relatively effectively with them. Dump a bunch of crits on a target and overwhelm the damage control teams in a way that you couldn't with the Mark 81 before. Uh, the rail destroyer still has more raw uh, rate of fire per point. But the, uh, the Capital Rails, of course, comes with the benefit of Capital Armor and can also be effective, both buffed and unbuffed. We've got a Clipper Decoy eating <laughs> some attention to the Voxels. They see that. Ooh, yeah, this is going for the Charlie Cap. You got to deal with it. Now that's good use of a decoy. Not just throwing them out all over the map, but sending them for a cap point while other ships are engaging. It would have been even better if the bulk freighter was up taking this fight too. But the Cielo able to get a few free hits off on the voxels while they're busy covering the cap. Well, it doesn't take very long for those decoy containers to get RPF to shreds. Of course, HE killing one of the decoy containers, which was pretty cool. A couple more missiles coming down here to hit the Asashio. It's one of the missile tugs out of Sumi K. So that's for like dedicated rail ships, but as best I can tell from the discussions that have been had, uh, I'm responding to Xenophon's text chat for those of you who are just listening, uh, you can get some efficacy out of a sidearm. Like a, a not very buffed or unbuffed sidearm. Maybe. I have not seen this firsthand. No, Xenophon, I'm not. I'm not hearing you speak. You are muted in the Discord, maybe? No, you're not muted. Womp womp. So that worked? Yes. Yeah. Hello. Welcome back. Yeah, real discourse is going to be dominating this uh, this whole patch. We got some S3Hs coming out. Although these are why are these going so far away from the ship before they're staging? What's going on here? Are these in cruise and I'm just not seeing the? Uh... There. Oh, it's. Uh, I think it's a bug. They have used cruise missiles. They've got. Um, so what they've done is they've cruised but direct fired of the cruise missile. Yeah, but that that like that works just fine. But it seems like these aren't. I think maybe they were fired in anticipation of where Sumika's ship would be. Like, 
when you direct fire a cruise missile, it triggers staging at a, like the seeker distance plus a little bit. So depending upon what you were firing at and when, it will not necessarily trigger at the right time. No, I'm just not, not seeing any, turn other seekers, no. any engines. Like the, there's no there's no seekers coming out of these, and there's no uh, their engines aren't activating. That must be a spectator bug, surely. No, that is actually a bug. I've seen this. All right, someone want to toss this yeah. into bug reports? I think it already is in there, but okay. yes. Yeah, that would be lovely. Thank you. The bug hunt continues. It's like the music has ended. We got to go somewhere else. What do I have here? Okay. Oh, dear. Boom lover gets glonked by a uh, friend who's watching. Yeah, Bryn has the ships online. Good luck. Doesn't Bryn already have a lot of ships? Oh no, he just has those two Asolos with their own opposite ends of the map for some reason. Which I'm absolutely questioning about in the post game. OSP is up by about 70 points. ANS has cut the map in half. They have better control? Well, not really. It's just there's so little map presence. Dramus sort of had a cap fleet, but like half of his points were in Anchor Dad and that Forest got pushed by a huge army in the OSP and killed. That didn't work well at all. Voxel's engaging the Acello on the side. Firing at the line in the liner first. Good play. Jamming, locking, getting anti-jammed with floods. But it doesn't look like any of them have been locked. Yeah, none of them have been locked. They are getting flood lighted. Flooded, if you will. Lighted, even. Flood what am lit. I saying? <laughs> ANS has... Yeah, looks like Corbeau and Scalard are going for Bravo. Unfortunately, two Axfords as a group going for Bravo. It's kind of slow and out of the way, especially on Nix's eye. They are able to provide some supporting fire to the Voxel fight. Lower Charlie's side of the map. What are those rails firing at? A dead tug. Okay. Personally, the rails killed. It's interesting. I'm looking at the doom and it has a gpc and a birthing in a large compartment the only the only dedicated large compartment it has is a dc complex that is interesting it has an intel center Ooh. what the fuck you would think you would at least have a set mag hmm i run reinforced on my 450 liners it's possible that I think it's a space thing. It is yeah. exactly a space thing. Yeah. Because uh, 450 shells so is very it big. wasn't in the large, is what you're saying. I don't know. Well, like the, the thing about the, the large magazines, the, the extra large magazines, is that they're actually considerably more durable if they're just, you know, in one of the smaller compartments because they get hit a lot less, even though they have less hit points and less right. DC. Yeah, smaller hit box. Uh, in addition, the the smaller compartments are in stacks of two or three, whereas the large ones are often that kind of separated. So, so there's more like damage splitting going on too. These voxels. Why are these voxels closing? Really need to be staying in range. Because uh, now that they're in close, they can't really dodge. And they also left C open as a result. Might they're be taking to damage. Run from Florida. Perhaps. 
Yeah, very very big thing. I don't know if it's happening C because of the box holes charging. Um, the uh, bulk trader. Yep, yeah, gonna get a free cap on that Charlie point as Vassal has pointed out. And that's gonna leave ANS with uh, one single point and down a hundred score. It's gonna start adding up real fast. ANS does seem to be experiencing a bit of a defeat in detail here. Yeah, the, looking where the battleship is, right? Axfords have uh, kind of gone over to help with the uh, bulk freighter and the Acillo, but they've wound up not capping Bravo, although it looks like Corpo's going to manage to get that. Um, and they're in just a really bad spot. you got 450 Axfords trying to kill off a gun shuttle, and that's, that's going to take forever. We've also got this battleship that's... Why is this here? Upper middle of the map. Uh, there's nothing for it to shoot at, really. Well, there's this Acello that's on the backside, but this can just dodge at this range. Especially since the battleship doesn't seem to have any locks. Is it a track correlated spyglass? Yep. Is it though? Yeah, it has spyglass one, two track or only, only two has track correlated, two, I think. Which is no, Three? there's a third. There's a fourth. Okay, so it's got yeah, the okay. full four. But still, you, you know, like at, this, at the long ranges, you actually just can't shoot the Acela unless it lets you. These voxels are now getting surrounded and crushed by Flart's forces. The battleship's about to get deleted by Saw. And the bulk freighter. These voxels have surrounded the bulk freighter like sharks, unfortunately. Uh, that just means they're too close and cannot dodge and will get murdered. Let's witness the death of a battleship. It's going to dump a ton of chaff. It's too late, buddy. The enemy secured zone box. Glonk. Yeah, some of it missed, but uh, yeah. That's a that's The a world's lot most of toxic build. I don't know. A 3K battleship isn't that bad. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. He's actually kind of fine. It's about to not be fine. Yeah, it's about to not be fine now. This is the it's second part. Second, second salvo. Yeah, well, <laughs> this this deals with this sort of extreme over concentration of points. You put too many points into one ship and you don't properly protect it. It's it's gonna get murdered. I I think that's good. It helps the capital ecosystem not be well. I'll just build the big fuck you armored up ship. I'm gonna go build something to counter that real quick. A killjoy would have prevented this. Yeah. What seekers are those? Well, yeah, actually, rats. a killjoy would have done it. A killjoy would have countered it. It would have. Same yeah. with flak max. I mean. Well, I, yeah, you would. You would have either needed like this two CHs with the battleship and I don't know also about flak max. Yeah, bro. Full RCCs. Full rebounds, full AEs, two CHs, 14 rebounds, two, two and a half thousand flak rounds per minute. You can do well, it. Here's the thing, that actually will not kill minute. that quantity of, uh, of S2s I, because of I the... I don't know about that. No, I, I've, te I've tested this. You can you can punch that with 60 S2s because... Not because they it isn't capable of killing them, but because of the rebound targeting logic. Because they always target the missile in front. The voxels like, uh, have managed just... to kill the Doom in the meantime. Although they are way outside the line of uh, the main combat zone. They've also taken a ton of damage for their trouble. These ships are heavily beat up and they're going to struggle to control to get back onto the map and control the points. OSP, meanwhile, has two large groups, each on uh, one side of the big rock in the middle of the map. The S2s on the back side, which just made the battleship go nuclear. That's not coming back. Securing that echo point because yeah, BB by itself don't don't do that because you get punished. Lard is using the PMNs and the missiles versus the Axfords to great effect. Look at that nose of this Axford completely gone. In fact, everything forward of the ammo elevators it's just it's just, just gone. Large part due to the plasma and then the Hesh flying in and also some 100 mil as well. This is just a lot of stuff right here fighting. The other Axford is now starting to take some fire as well. And 
that's going to be adding up quite quickly. These also have double bar things in them. It's uh, something else that'll have to be mentioned. Got some more missiles being snapped off at the, the rails. Rails. These are Sivars, but there's a lot of chaff close into the rails. And I think these have a few defenders, which might just clean this up. Yeah, one defender is going to kill two missiles, one misses, one lands on the nose. Ooh, and downs a rail on a ship that has no restores. That's fucking rough. A few more lands on another ship. Doesn't down anything super important. Although it does kill one of the defenders, which is going to make further strikes hurt even harder. And these ships are now getting shelled by the bulk freighter. 450's into the nose of destroyers hurts, but I don't think there's any locks up here, though, so these destroyers are able to maybe dodge a little bit. And yeah, not, not that much, especially not this close in moving information. Axford's trying to control Charlie, but oh, they're getting zoned out by one single gun shuttle, which is pretty beat up, but all it takes is one cannon. And these are slowly going to die. Well, maybe not that slowly. To uh, Flart's little group down here of PMNs and missiles and jamming and just just everything. This, this is the ultimate kitchen sink build. And it's actually working pretty good. Usually when you do this sort of thing, it doesn't really work. I'm trying to do too much at once. But Flart has done a good job with the execution of that build. OSP is up by about 200 points. 180 to be exact, oh, and it has changed, of course. And they're able to hold three caps for now, which means that lead is going to increase. ANS does not have anything anywhere near Echo or Delta. The Voxels are dying. The Axfords are dying on Charlie. Yeah, all that's really left that has good combat potential. Our Corbeau ship and the ANS team calls it, recognizing that there's not really anything they can do at this point. As Lobster said earlier in the game, defeat in detail. Pretty brutal. Damn, look at that OSP fleet. They have lost a line ship, a couple shuttles, and a couple tugs. And taken some bruising on just about everything. But the S2s and the 450s, 11k on that 450 ship. Even though it wasn't in the fight for that long. Also, the MMT is doing work. So is participating as well. PMN is doing a good job too. Oh, these, these are the S2 ships. Yeah. And AS just got out positioned and destroyed. You know, Gumby V not really able to participate that much. A lot of these cappers got destroyed extremely fast. And yeah, the anchor voxel also getting destroyed extremely fast. Brutal game. Axford's getting caught out before they can do much damage. Yeah. One bucker a one-sided match. I don't think we have a whole lot else to say about that, so it's time to close it out. Good day, good night, I'll see you later. Uh, that was the world's worst somber impression. Maybe, we'll see what you think. I I don't know if you've noticed, but these have been a little deranged. I'm very tired. I've not had much sleep today. <laughs> so I probably sound like a jackass in half of these, and I know I'm sounding monotone. I've got uh, I've got a 8 a.m. lecture voice going on right now. Hopefully that's fine. Hopefully you find this engaging, fun, and exciting. We've been doing testing. There's been a lot. I hope you've been watching the video and not just listening. Uh, because there's been a lot of discourse in the spectator chat while I've been casting the game itself. Uh, you might have noticed about halfway through that I interrupted the discourse on S2s and how to fight them and how to build them. Uh, and I did that for the sake of casting the game. I've discovered that... Oftentimes, casting the game, if the game is an interesting one, and I thought that one was, is more valuable than just talking about stuff. Ba -ba -ba. That's everything. I have a Discord link down in the description if you want to participate in testing games, or if you want to participate in... 
well, just this, hanging out and talking about Nebula's Fleet Command. Come on down. That's what we do there. That's what we spend all our time doing there. We do a lot of other stuff there, too. Uh, we got a Solium Inferno group. We got a Dune Spice Wars group. We got some Dominions Gaming. What else? We got some Lancer Gaming. We got a bunch of tabletop people who hang out. We got some mod makers who hang out and do stuff. It's, it's great. It's great. I love that place. But the focus is on this video game right here. It's what the channel's built for. It's what the server's built for. It's what I spend probably too much of my time on. Maybe this fleet command. If you want to participate in that, come on down. There's a link down in the description. And I might be adding a Patreon. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I've been spitballing that around both in my own head and in the Coliseum for uh, like seven or eight months now. Just kind of no, not like pressuring people or talking to them about it all the time. But it's just something that's come up from time to time, both in voice comms and in text chat. So I don't know. We'll see. I talked about that a little bit in the last video or maybe two videos ago. So I won't annoy you with that too much. Money is quite icky after all. <laughs> Why am I 12? I'll see you in the battle space, dear viewer. Good night.